How do I sound? I'm kind of in the basement with the air conditioner going. So this is the transparency after I printed it off. It's a little blurry, but yeah. So, uh, the best, I put way too much fucking tape on this. Um, I gotta be careful not to scratch the transparency though. Let's just do that. There we go. Oh, come on. Try to put the transparency in a spot where it's not gonna get harmed. So if I scratch that transparency, it's over. I gotta go find another one. Alright. Now I just cut this uh, circuit board off from uh, some scrap I had. So what I have found is it leaves a bad edge on it. So I'm gonna flatten the edge on it, curve it around. A little bevel on it. Hopefully I stay in shot for all this. Nice edge on it. Now, if it wasn't for the film, I wouldn't bother because the ferric chloride is just going to eat this edge off. But if I lay the film down and this corner is sticking up the tiniest amount, it's going to ruin the film. So, a nice flat edge all the way around. And the next step is I got to clean the circuit board. It's got fingerprints and stuff all over it, and permanent marker. So I am going to grab a glove. Are the volume levels alright? I kind of feel like my mic's turned up a little too high. Okay. Uh, thankfully this board is thinner. And I'm not developing it for longer, so it thankfully isn't going to take two hours. I mean, putting the LEDs on is going to take a while. But actually going through from now till actually having a nicely etched board, it's probably only going to be about 40 minutes. If everything goes well. So hopefully you didn't jinx it. I want to get a nice polish on this. Because the better, of, the better the polish, the better the film will actually stick to the board. The only downside of this is there's now tiny, tiny, tiny little flakes of pottery copper everywhere, but well, I'm doing this in the laboratory. Closer. Yeah, nice and shiny. As you can see, my desk has been through hell a little bit.
bit of rubbing alcohol. Make sure all the oils are gone. What would I need a vice for? Is this thing focused? What's up, evil? Long time no see, buddy. The oils aren't so bad on the edges. I'm just worried about the middle. Because these edges are going to etch away. My main thing is I want to make sure this copper is as nice as possible. Nice and, nice and smooth. Making balls a little LED sign. Um, you're probably not gonna see it. Oh, wait, a little bit. That's why, maybe. The glare, I'm sorry. Yeah, I spent uh, earlier, what, what, like a, maybe an hour, drawing it up, laying on the lines. I'm actually gonna etch it onto this uh, board here. I am actually gonna try to reuse this glove. All right, now the fun part. Just trying to get the film on there. With you. Now this film is ultraviolet sensitive, but thankfully uh, the glove was on my other hand is because I didn't want copper all over my hand. The, the little there's tons of little like particles of copper on here and it gets into your fingerprints and all this other stuff. It's horrible. So I try not to, you know, I try to wear a glove on that hand. Because then for the rest of the process, I'm just gonna have copper impregnated hands. All right. Film put away. Gotta line this up. Make sure of. Three M gold species. All right. I'm going to do one last uh, spritz of water. Make sure I got any remaining dust off of this. And this is where I absolutely don't touch it. It's final, final wipe down. And as I'm doing this, I'm also checking the paper towel and make sure there's no copper on there. 
But there's still copper on there, and we got to you know, spray it again and clean it, wipe it. Okay. Now, the fun part. This uh, film has two really thin pieces of plastic on it that protect the film. I have to peel off one of those thin protective layers. And to help the film stick to the board, you put a fine mist of water on there. So this is the most entertaining part. Just trying to get this little bit of plastic off. And then once I get it off, I gotta make sure the film doesn't stick to it itself. It's always the freaking inside that comes off. Great. I'm trying to hold this in a way that you guys can see what I'm trying to accomplish here. I just ruined the water on my board. Try to make sure this film doesn't touch itself. Come on. No. There we go. Whoop. All right. I gotta make sure I don't touch this side. I do see a cat here and there. Oh, yeah, it's on the other side. Now, I'll lay this film down. Try to get it on there as nice as, fuck, nice as possible. That should be good. And that water I sprayed on there, and I gotta squeegee that out, and a little air bubbles. Sorry if this is not in shot, it's kind of a long board. Slowly on. It's, it's kind of like putting a uh, screen protector on your phone. Except you don't put water underneath it. Nice as what? What? Did I say something was nice? Just gotta squeegee all the little bit of water out. Make sure it's as flat as possible. Shit. Try to get this laid out nicely so you guys can see it. Oh, I, got, I, I think I was talking about the film. I gotta lay it on so there's no air bubbles whatsoever. And it doesn't help that my desk is wet. For a fucking curveball. Are you ready for this? An iron. <laughs> fucking clothes iron. And what I'm doing with this iron is uh, it's gonna help push the water out. And uh, adhere the film to the board.
Hopefully I can see the reflection of the camera in the door. It's not quite done yet, but I think it's done to a point where I can cut the excess off and hit it with another round. It's not looking too bad. I do have a freaking piece of dust right there, but I think it's going to be outside of the uh, actual design area. Cut this extra film off. So if you were curious, this is a very thin sheet of uh, a thin layer of uh, copper on a fiberglass. It's bonded paper fiberglass. I think my iron got turned down. I gotta turn my iron up a little bit. There we go. A nice warm. And I don't want to apply too much heat, and then the uh, film will start to bubble. I really want to make sure I get these corners. Try to peel back a corner so you can make sure we're good. That one needs a little more time. If I don't get this on here all the way, like actually get the film adhered to the board, when I go to develop it, all the tracks that uh, harden might just fly right off. They might not stick. So I want to make sure that I got a really good adhesion to the board. All right, now for the boring part. I gotta see, oh, I gotta use my big piece of glass. This is where I line the transparency up and make sure there's no no hair or dust on this, it's just it's gonna affect the print, the transfer. Try to get that as center as possible. Maybe bring it down a little bit. Come on, there you go. Make sure this is as flat as possible. Yeah, well, I'm trying not to be too technical about all the terms, but... And this is where I actually develop the board. I am way to the one side. I get this back on, nice and flat. This is where I actually developed the board. So I'm lining everything up. I'm gonna put a piece of glass on there so this film sits flat. If the film didn't slit, sit flat, then the light will get into like the tracks and make them thicker and make it blur. But we don't want that. We want it to be nice and crisp. So I'm just going to clean my glass here. My glass will help keep it flat if I didn't say that. This glass cleaned off. Make sure it's crystal fucking clear.
see fingerprints all over it still. Okay. Let's get that all down this plant. Now make sure nothing run away runs away. I mean I actually like to fucking tape this thing down. Also helps make sure it's sitting absolutely flat. Uh, the transparency or the film? Are you talking about their evil? The film that I laid on the board is just photosensitive uh, film. The transparency I laid on is it's the tran it's it's filled with tiny little holes so the ink gets sucked up into it so it's not like a normal transparency but the film itself is um, shit it's flat the film is just normal film that uh, exposes under ultraviolet light Yeah, you're about to see some UV. Unfortunately, my UV is in a cardboard box. <laughs> you're not gonna see UV. Uh... So, oh, you're, you're gonna see it because I'm gonna turn the light off. You might see it. Try to make sure this thing's lined up nice and center and flat as possible. Grab my phone. Yeah, I kind of wish I didn't paint my desk white. Yeah, you'll see the ultraviolet blow through here. I mean, I'm actually getting a timer ready. Um, so I gotta take my headphones off because there's something else I have to do while this. Ex uh, uh, gets uh, exposed. So I am. Now start that. While that's going on, I need to do a couple of things and then I'll turn the lights off. So while that's doing that, I have to get the ferric chloride uh, heated up. So I got a little heat pad down here. I put the ferric chloride on too. It looks disgusting right now. And then, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go get the uh, developer ready, so I'm gonna be right back. That's all the ultraviolet you get to see. <laughs> There's a little dot. Just enough light in here for me to see what's kind of going on. What I'm doing is I'm getting the developer ready, which is uh, sodium bicarbonate and warm water. It's 
basically a dish, powdered dish soap. So that's ready to go. I'm just waiting for this to expose. And I forgot to turn the heater on for, for chloride. The ferric chloride's not heated up, it takes forever to etch, so. Here, is that glowing green? Yeah, a little bit. Why do not are you are you saying why I don't like the white balls? I, I don't like the white because it's kinda of a little too bright. I would have preferred like a clear lacquer, so you have that nice dull wood tone to it. Maybe even like a gray. But I mean the white is definitely nice for finding components that I've I've dropped onto the, the table. I was talking about the color of my desk, not the color of my balls. Oh, uh, I, I, I think you whispered the wrong person there, Whisper. <laughs> or wait, I don't know. I can't tell. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm starting to come down a little bit, but... my headphones. It's too dark in here. Alright, six minutes should be enough, so... Take the lights back on. Shield your eyes! Hey, I warned you. See how this came out. <laughs> it suits you well. It suits you well. <laughs> All right. Time for the moment. Look at that. Perfect transfer. Let's see if I can get this close without a glare. Look at that. So everywhere the light hit, it turned it dark. Now the part I always fucking forget is I had to take the other protective piece of plastic off the board. Done. Uh, 
And now for the developer. So this solution of uh, sodium carbonate and warm water is gonna eat away all the uh, the light colored parts. Yay, chemicals. It ain't that bad. I mean, I just wear a glove so my hand doesn't get soapy. And I'm literally just gonna use a sponge to try to wipe it off. I have to uh, kind of force it to come off, but this is gonna take a bit. Thankfully, there's not too much to come off, but we'll see how it goes. And eventually, this light blue should turn shiny coppery. And if I didn't take that other piece of protective uh, plastic off, I'd be here all night trying to wait for this thing to fucking develop. which I have done a couple of times. I've sat here for about 20 minutes figuring out why it's not coming off and then I realize I take the damn plastic off. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a minute. And we're also gonna be here for a minute when I throw it in the ferric chloride, so. Takes a bit for it to eat it away. This looks really nice. Like no blurring whatsoever. It's set set down on the uh, the film pretty well. Nothing's happening quite yet. It's still I still gotta soak up the solution a bit. And it's starting to come off a little bit. I'm starting to see some more shiny than blue. If I don't take, if I don't make sure that every single little bit, yeah, that's what I usually do. I usually put some death metal on and just listen to that for a while. If I don't, uh, if this layer of white blue doesn't come off all the way, like if I forget it and it's like a spot, the ferric chloride's completely gonna skip over it. So, I have to go over it, like, even if I think it's done, I still go over it several times just to make sure that every little bit has come off. Because I don't want to have to take it out of the ferric chloride, wash it off, and then throw it back into this solution. What did I spell wrong? Most call me BT since there is. I, mean, I guess I spelled pronouns wrong. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I read right over that. Aren't you a channel editor? Can't you edit that?
bet you what goes. I probably wrote that while I was drunk. Let me confess to that. Oh. I thought I made Bull's uh, channel editor. Is it just a mod? Oh. Sometimes I get my own wrong, my own uh, username wrong. This is pretty much looking dumb, but I'm just gonna fucking go over it over and over and over here for a little bit longer to quadruple check that everything has been wiped away. sure that every little tiny little bat is gone. Gone! It doesn't, but uh, you see how more coppery that looks now than blue? No? No. I, 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 it, it's changed, believe me. It's, it's pretty much ready to go. I'm ready for the Heraclorite here in a second. I just want to fuck double, triple, check. I got everything off. Yeah. Well, this, this blue is not going to disappear. It's all this lighter stuff. There's no more light blue here anymore. There's tons of dark blue, but there's no more light blue. It's now copper. By the way, I made myself a logo, which I am going to be doing the same process I'm doing here tomorrow. So, if you guys want to stop in, probably about 2 o'clock Eastern, I got one more board I want to make. Two balls. Now, after I etch it, this blue is going to go away. So. I am ready, so I'm gonna go rinse this off and it will be ready for the ferric chloride, so I will be right back. I can get out of this room.
As you can see, nothing has changed. Make sure the shit is dry as possible. Because the next step is the ferric chloride, which is the most dangerous chemical I have here in the laboratory. Most hazardous, at least. Now, I can tell you what. Hopefully, this doesn't go through my speakers. Hang on. I'm actually gonna switch over to my phone for music because I need to be able to, with gloves covered with ferric chloride, move to the bathroom. I wish I had Bluetooth. Jesus Christ, it's loud. All right. Get the phone in my pocket. My ferric chloride looks like it's nice and heated up. So, time for the ferric chloride. And the ferric chloride has to stay warm, so. I'm gonna leave it on this mat um, and drape the power cable this way. Sorry if I bumped the mic. Um, let me move your logo up here, boss. I forgot to dry the table off. Oh well. All right. Now for all the prep. I'm pretty sure it was Hacks, because I'm pretty sure he hacked my bot. Extra paper towels just in case something happens. More gloves. Now this part's probably gonna take 20, 25 minutes, so. I have ferric chloride on my pants, great. Now, ferric chloride isn't that dangerous. It's just, uh, it stains like a motherfucker. I put this glove on wrong. I am off tomorrow. Which I said I might be, uh, I'm probably gonna do my logo, which, uh, I have right here. Got a lot of copper coming off of that one, though. Oh, actually, no, not a lot of copper coming off of that one. That's the one I'm gonna do tomorrow. For, for uh, comparison, there's CJ's. CJ's transparency. It's still blurry. Really get it in there? Yeah, there you go. That's CJ's transparency. All right, let's get this in the ferric chloride. And if I did this right, this should tarnish right away. Yep, all right. So I have to stir this for couple of minutes. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. So probably 20, 25 minutes. This is the most boring part. The longest part. Yep. Thank you. I usually don't remember the hour. I just remember I put it in at 3. 
<laughs> dip my face in it. I'll look, I'll look like Trump. Oh, I know you're joking. I, I am no dummy when it comes to chemicals and shit. It is very deadly if consumed. And it stains like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it reminds me of motor oil. It's just that dark brown color. I want to bake. I want to make sure I have no fucking dirt chloride on my fingers. Now there's not a lot of copper coming off of this, so it should be relatively quick. But at least it's not the one hour I had to deal with, with uh, my other copper boards. It literally took over an hour to etch. Because the damn, the copper layer was really thick. Now these are thinner layers, so. makes me wonder I don't know if I have a test Arduino a test board ready to go If I could pan this camera up, evil, you would see a bunch of drawers of resistors and capacitors. I have tons of heat shrink wrap up there. Tons of extra wire. My soldering station's over here. Or over there. I've never done any robotics. Just because it's it's a lot up front with all the little parts and stuff. Echo, it's pretty nice. I went cheap and I got a Zenny, a Zenny uh, reflow station. So it's got the hot air and it's got the, the soldering tips. Country arrow, dude. What is going on? God, it's been years. How you doing, dude? And Coz, I'll probably do some soldering. Cause after this is it's cleaning the board off and getting the blue off and then soldering. Which is wondering which is why I was wondering if I have an Arduino programmed already. But I think it's upstairs. Oh, of course I remember you, dude. It's like my first official Minecraft community I joined. Like, <laughs> you and Hoss. Ono's still around, so he's, he's in and out every couple of months. Hell, dude, if you're still into P uh, Minecraft, we got a, we got a Minecraft community. No, um, I knew Country Arrow way before I knew Balls or any of you guys. So it's been been a couple of years. Oh, oh no, yeah, Ono oh hasn't been around for a couple months. He hops onto the uh, 
the uh, Sky Factory server out every now and again, but he, he's in and out. I think he's more into shooters. Hey, Country, if you're still into Minecraft, we, we got a, a Minecraft community. Called the uh, Part Time Addicts. I don't think I have a. I don't have a command for it. It's just discord.me slash PTA. Uh, I guess if you want to add that command balls. <laughs> Website's coming soon. I still haven't looked at the photo uh, you sent me. Oh, okay. Uh, we do more than Minecraft. We got Imperion going on right now. We're about to get in some uh, Division 2 when that comes out. I want a pizza. 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 I haven't looked at it yet. Um, the machine I have Discord on doesn't have Photoshop, so I'll have to, if I remember, I'll do it after the stream. I have a message in Discord. Oh. Still balls. Okay. I mean, if you want, Coz, I can send you the original Photoshop file, and you can edit that. But I have to track it down. Just take a little peek, see how we're doing. It's not the corner I wanted to look at. Hmm, just a little bit early. Okay, country dude, thanks for stopping by. It's good seeing you. Oh yeah, you time, dude. Originally, I originally started or uh, joined Mixer to watch Tango streams, and while I was waiting for Tango to go live, I was hopping around uh, some of the Minecraft streams, and I ran into Onos, and um, got talking with him, and joined his community, and ended up hosting his server for a little while. And that's where I met uh, Ono, Country Arrow, and Big Hoss. I don't know what Big Hoss is calling himself now, but those are some good dudes. Yeah. I mean, all, all I'm doing is this. So it's really more like working out my wrists. <laughs> When I'm not when I'm not working them out, you know, during the day. <laughs> so I forgot about that command. So ten minutes into the develop or the etch.
<laughs> Alright, Cap, thanks for stopping by, though. Sorry to hear that, balls. That's right, President's Day. President's Day sales. <laughs> Gotta sell that lawn furniture, man. Everyone wants to buy lawn furniture on uh, President's Day. That's what I hate about overtime or like extended hours is there's just some days you're just not doing anything so you're at work or extra time and you there's nothing to do. how we're doing. Yeah. No, dude, we're getting close already. It's only been 14 minutes. <laughs> That's never good to hear. <laughs> yeah, right. You can't just say that and not find out what it is. minutes I'll pull this out and see how it's looking
Yep. Second RAC, if I tilt it, one of the corners is already gone, so usually the inside of the board takes a little bit longer than the edges, so. About 20 to, 20 to 30 minutes has been uh, the record for these boards. For this batch, at least. And I don't want to leave it in too long because then it starts to get under the blue film and starts eating the track off of the, the fiberglass. So I have, I will have a a, a copper track, but it'll be off the, uh, the fiberglass. And unfortunately, when I pull it out, you probably won't be able to see its progress because it's going to be coated in the ferric chloride, so it's going to look black. But it's the board underneath is white, so it shouldn't be coppery anymore. It should be white. Now, let the countdown begin. See what this looks like. No, I still got copper here. That's gonna be like another ten minutes. Five if I'm lucky. Hey, you can't see any of that probably. Nah, it's too too glary. So let me get this back in there. Put the lid back on. Now the ferrochloride feels kind of cold, so that's probably why it's taking a bit. I try to clean my gloves off as much as possible. See, so yeah, this stuff's nasty. Nasty. My heating pad isn't you know, as warm as it should be. Probably tomorrow what I'll do is I'll probably put on a heavier track and just send uh, send banana to my phone. That way I can listen to the music and hear uh, tags and stuff. In the in the app store you can get a in the app store you can get a voice meter 
uh, application, and you can send, you can set the banana, your banana, on your desktop to send audio signal to voice meter on your phone. Unfortunately, the free version has like a two second delay. So unless you want to pay five, six bucks for the full app, you're stuck with the delay. So if I really wanted to, I can sit the banana on the laptop to send audio to my phone. So as long as I'm on wireless, I can hear my desktop audio from my phone and use it like Bluetooth. Yeah, banana's free. If you want an extra an extra cable, it will cost you. Cough. Uh, if you want the better version of voice meter on your phone, yeah, you gotta pay for it. But I paid for it and I rarely use it, so... It's just... This scenario might be the best, because if... Um... You get... Two inputs and a free line, I think it is? So an, an extra line, it's your two inputs and then uh, your out a line for your output. But you can, like what I do is I set my output to my speakers and then my input is uh, my microphone, which doesn't cost a line. And then I send my desktop audio to one of the free aux inputs. And then the other line is for pretzel. Yep. Banana is completely free. Yeah, you can do that banana. And I can even, uh, I can show you tomorrow codes if you want. Or even remote it and set it up. Or balls can do it. <laughs> Another five minutes. Uh, voice meter banana. That's what I use for my audio mixing. Yeah, like what I do is I, I mute my desktop, I mute my microphone, I mute Discord, and I only play Banana at the start of my stream. And then when I start my stream, I unmute Discord, I unmute my mic, and uh, my desktop. I wish there was a way to drag and drop from a remote desktop. That'd be so useful. Three more minutes. I think I pinned it, Coz. I usually pin stuff like that.
Really? I have clipboard sharing enabled, but I've never been able to drag and drop. I didn't try copy paste like a file before, but I maybe give it a shot. Really? Oh. I'll have to try it after the stream evil. Yeah, it's easier it's easier to just multi upload one file via FTP. And upload in like multiple parts. Especially with some of the files we have. Like all the scripts and stuff. Alright, well, I'm two minutes short. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, dude. I think we're good. And like I said, unfortunately, you guys probably won't be able to see it, but... It has eaten away all the uncovered copper. To my knowledge. It's just I can't tell because the ferric chloride doesn't wipe off that well. So let me try to squeegee as most as much as off. Let's <laughs> try to squeegee off as much as I can, and then I'll be right back as I wash it off. Tricky. As a reminder, ferric chloride stains and is extremely hazardous if ingested. I'll be right back, guys. I was a little early on taking it out. There's some spots, but as you can see, there's no more copper there. It's all just fiberglass. So what I'm going to do now? Let me get rid of this ferric chloride. Man, 
this heating pan. The next step, we gotta drill some holes out. It definitely helps to drill one of the uh, flues on there, but I only have to drill maybe six holes, so it should be pretty quick. Let me remember where I put my drill bits. There they are. Uh, Cedar Point. It's like on the other side of Ohio from me. Make sure I don't fucking drill through my hand here. And I just broke the fucking drill bit. Son of a bitch. Yeah, nice hole though. It's a good thing they have two of every bit. Now I practiced this earlier and I had no problem. No problem whatsoever. These things are cheap. I think it's because this board's so big. And I was practicing with a really small piece earlier. Well, I only got one more hole to go. through but if I go too far I think that's it data in data out data in plus or minus We're good let me go ahead and take this blue stuff off and remember where I put my tool here If I try it in the vice, it breaks. Every single time I've tried. I went through all those shitty broken drill bits that I showed you. And it really works because when you're drilling down in a vice, when you go through, the whole drill like tweaks. And if you're holding your hand, everything tweaks together. I, I, I don't know, but it works. Let me go rinse this stuff off here. I'll be back in a second.
Fucking hate Neil Bosch, remember? There we go. There's no way I can do that without. Make sure I scrub every little last bit of that blue shit off. A little bit of blurring in my name, but it looks pretty good. Honestly, it looks nice. I didn't count how many LEDs it had, but this shouldn't take too long to solder all the LEDs on. But now that I got all that done, I gotta go through and verify that there's no traces touching each other. <laughs> when do you expect it? I don't know. We'll see. 
honestly, the longest, longest part is programming something. Like trying to figure out what kind of color patterns I want and, you know, getting everything lined up. All the LEDs addressed properly. This is actually looking pretty, pretty good. It's a couple of random spots where there's some floating copper still, but. Looks nice. All right. Now for the LEDs. Well, you can't see that, but that's what the LED looks like. There's a, uh, if I have a pointer, there's a little corner taken off in the LED. That tells me that it's ground. And if we look closely at the LED, we'll see a little black dot, which is the microchip. What's up, Cyril? Check this out, dude. Oh, yeah. About to start putting the LEDs on, man. But that little uh, corner chopped off the top tells me it's ground. And from there, the pin below it is data in. And across the mass, the positive. And across the minus is data out. Sorry, I'm not in fucking shot. These are the LEDs. That's it. A little dot. A little tiny little dot. You can't really see it because of the light above it. I'm going to try to rotate this so there's no glare. Yeah, it's not in focus. Whatever. But I guess it's uh, time to get right in it. So let me get the soldering iron ready. Remember where I put my awesome ass tweezers, which are missing at this time. There they are. What the fuck, Syracle? <laughs> I got engineering hands. They're small and soft. The typist hands. So what I do is this is called flux. It uh, helps the solder flow, and it also cleans the joint that I'm soldering to. And I'm going to put this on every single pad that I'm going to be soldering on. And I just cleaned this needle out, so I got it. There we go. Pretty decent amount. Unfortunately, I don't think I can zoom in on this. Um... Let me try. <laughs> Cyril, it's cool. This is gonna get very blurry. And you're not gonna really see it. got auto focus on whoa whoops I just closed that all right um, I'm gonna have to take my glasses off for this so I'm sorry oh, I can go further it's just not gonna be clear I gotta take my glasses off this so so I'm not gonna be able to see chat I'll look over every now and again but to start soldering these LEDs on, I usually just put a little bit of solder on the positive pad. And I grab the LED while heating the positive pad, slide the LED over and on it. Bam, there's one LED mounted. Hey, I can still look over and read it. Once I got that pad on, just gotta hit all the other pads.
That's one LED done. Now, many more to go. It's the same thing over and over, unfortunately. It's very repetitive. Flux, solder, LED. Slide it in. Try to line it up. And then solder it on. I gotta say, this came out pretty good. It's gonna be even better when I get the tester out. Test this. A little bit of black chunk floating in here. I don't know where that came from, but. Shut up, Annie. <clears throat> oh, the flux helps it flow as well. Or, well, yeah, it flow helps it flow, but it also helps it flow to where it belongs. Like it's not, the solder's not gonna stick to the fiberglass if there's flux there. That makes a real nice clean solder drying. See what you guys are saying. What's up, Marlin? Hey, what the fuck? I'm gonna take those mod rights away from you, Marlin. You fucks.
Yeah, that's that's usually how it goes. Shot a bit. Sometimes when I gotta rotate this thing. Oh, this is gonna be a little tricky here. A little tight angle. I'm sure it will go faster if I just, uh, you know, get in the zone. And I said, thankfully, this does not have too many LEDs. Or pixels, I guess you can call them. There's the bee. Because this is where I had to hold the soldering iron on a little bit longer, especially in these parts, just because of how close they are to those ground planes. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be too bad. Oh, 
this is the spot where a trace goes under the LED to another LED, so I add a little extra flux to make sure nothing, make sure the solder goes where it's supposed to. And it doesn't short out under the LED. Very, very, very tedious. This middle mark, middle part of the A is gonna be really fun to solder. Very tight.
I have this the right way out. All right, this is going to be a close fit. I thought I had a short underneath, but that's the way it is supposed to be. Yep. crooked but hey a little extra a long way That LED is not sitting flat either. It's crooked and it's not sitting flat. Oh well.
My back's starting to hurt. Let me stand up here for a second. Oh boy. I drilled threw me off for a second. So usually rectangles with holes I mark as ground. And I saw the hole there and I'm sutting, soldering close to it, or positive. That's because I drilled a hole there. Halfway there. I 
out of that solder down there. Alright, I thought I had a short. No, we're good. It's a hose, by the way, balls. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm soldering the LEDs on, one at a time. And there's four pads per LED. So I got pop, I got to solder on the data in, I got to solder the positive, got to solder the negative, and then solder the data out. And this is flux, which helps the solder flow and make sure it doesn't stick to anything it shouldn't.
but just a few seconds ago I was scratching the copper with a uh, razor blade to try to uh, make the clearance a little bit better between the track and the pad that I had going on. And when I'm done soldering all these LEDs, all I have to do is uh, go grab my tester and uh, power it on. Other than maybe running some wires here and there, but. Ten more to go. What kind of circuit board do you think I was talking about? Like motherboard circuit board? Oh, a big piece of flux just went on top of that LED. Talking about my motherboard? Are you talking about my board? Oh, you thought I was gonna make something like Platy's board? Like the first, like that one I gave him? No, this, the, this is 2.0, dude. These LEDs 
They're freaking awesome. I mean, these, they're not gonna light up all one, one color. I can literally tell the B to light up blue, the A to light up red. I mean, any fucking color you want. If I could go back and remake that original platy one, I would use these LEDs and probably do the same technique. The only downside is these LEDs are huge. They take up a lot of space. Like in the space of two of these LEDs, I can probably put four small LEDs. Let me finish the Z. I'll go upstairs and grab my programmer or my uh, testing unit. And I'll show you. Yeah, there's gonna be wires on the back of this, but um, I don't have a, uh, a screen print layer. I have no way to put a screen print on it, which is the green. And this circuit board is white inside, so it's the same thing, it's just different color. Solder mask, that's what I was thinking of, not screen print, solder mask. Just, just, uh, just keep your pants on, dude. Well, we're almost there. You're basically saying it's nothing like you had expected. Instead of putting a bunch of wires, I made a bunch of tracks. And there's probably only gonna be three, four wires on this board. So what's nice about making my own board like this. But with platies is it was just a it was a breadboard. Like this. So I had to individually wire every single LED together. This I do it all in software, and when I print it out, all the all the wires are there for me. The only ones I gotta add are, you know, power lines and anywhere I couldn't run a trace. 
like between the A and the first L, I couldn't run the data line in between there, so I'm gonna have to run a wire between those two. But they're gonna be in the back sword side of the board. Hoot more! LED. Let me run upstairs and get my tester board and I'll be right back. So this tester is for 83 LEDs, and this has 57 LEDs in it, but it shouldn't make a difference. So I need to run a wire here to here. This is in. Minus plus. All right, uh, let me get a wire. Alright, I gotta hold the wire on the bottom of the board and solder it at the same time.
Come on, wire, stay up. All right. Let me grab my nice cutters. some wire. Wires out. Might as well do this in one minute. All right. So negative is over here. so it's not gonna fucking burn me this time. I gotta heat up uh, the rectangle here first. Now let's go for it, see what happens. Perfect. And positive. Again, put this in a spot where it's not going to fucking burn me. Heat up the pad a little bit. Solder in there. Doesn't want to take. Come on. Uh, let's see how that does. And last but not least, the data pin. If I can find it. There it is. That's all the wires I need. That's all I need. Alright, let's power this bad boy up and see what happens. Kaboom. And short circuit. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know how you're going to see it. It's kind of a glare. What if I do this? No, exposure. Why? Why, exposure, why? You're not helping, bot. 
Bigger video. Victory. Three, two, one. Let's see if I can maybe. Yeah, that's better. Fucking success, no short circuits, all the LEDs work. G fucking G. You can't tell, but that's blue, a really nice rich blue. Mosin. Oh, wow. What a success. I wonder if there's a way I can just. I didn't see a brightness setting. Maybe it's white balance? Let's try. Let's try that. Now. God damn it. Oh, there it is, exposure. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. And that was what? I don't know. Four hours? If that? From concept to board. Yeah. From concept to done. And that's just the test pattern. Like, imagine all the shit I can do with that. All the different color combinations and patterns and all kinds of crazy shit. Oh, dude, this is fucking sweet. Love it when something works first fucking time, you know? So beautiful. Well, balls, this is where I program it. Something completely random. I'm gonna ship it to you. Thank you all for staying up this late, hanging out with me. Yeah, I can make any, I can tell it to light any LED, any color. I can even make a rainbow go across it. Thanks, real little boy.
But on that note, guys, y'all have a great night. I'll catch you tomorrow about uh, 2 o'clock. I'm going to work on my own logo, so we'll see how that goes. Good night, everybody. Cap, did, did you see it, Cap? The final product. Okay, let me turn off the light again. Yeah, take it upstairs to show my roommates and it stops working. <laughs> oh, I don't think five bullets could, but that'd be fucking cool. Alright, later everyone. <laughs>